Semveli Severian, also known as Johnny 2x4 here. Day 2 of WasabiCon, and me and my friend Plank and some other friends are going to be heading off there. Aren't you excited, Plank? I know you are. Enjoying the con so far? <laughs> Absolutely. What's your most favorite part already? The art gallery downstairs. Yeah, the artist alley. You know, I never thought turning the first level of the parking garage would actually give us a lot more space and to be a good idea. The people are that skilled. It's, it's impressive. That is true. There was so much impressive skill there and impressive artwork I saw. Yeah. All right. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for hanging around, man. Thanks. What I'm doing is you'll flip over the card. All right. Okay. You can either choose to purchase your side dish for one yen. Yes. Or for one yen. Sure. So I buy this. If someone is on here, you can spend one yen, pay them, and take their seat. And what is my seat effect? Um, the seat effect is basically you get to choose if you want to pay for this, but then that's also going to be the sushi that you eat at the end of your turn. Gotcha. And if you don't spend any yen, then you would gain one from the bank. So what is what are the can we go through the waitress effects? Yeah. Oh, so if we flip them over, they actually say it. So like this one is going to be draw two plates, add one to the top or bottom of your stack. We have this one where like if there was a trash, you could take that one and stick it on your stack, mm -hmm. right. and then you can exchange this one with a different staff member. So this one you can take a wasabi cube, so that gives you an extra point. Mm -hmm. How do these effects work? Do I get it basically if I pay mm -hmm. the yen, then I do this effect? Mm -hmm. Okay. And does it like remove the waitress, or is it just basically this is an optional effect when I go here? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'll pay the yen. So one thing with the California roll mm -hmm. um, is it's kind of like a wild. Ooh. So it, like I said right here, if you have the stacks of them, yeah. then you have. Um, then it counts as any color. Points. I'm gonna ultimately choose not to take this one and try it differently than what he did, mm -hmm. just to see how the game works. It'll be two. So you'll just slide it through. So yes. Slide it through. And then grab another one. So that one gets onto the trash can. There we go. So now that one is still yeah. in the seat. I think I'm gonna do it just right next to him. Okay. To sure. mm -hmm. And then if you want to pay the yen to pay your server, you can take that as well. Or you don't have to pay it and you can take the yen. Take one yen. Uh, the golden coins there, how many yens are that worth? Five. five. Got it. I don't believe it. I've won the game. First time ever playing this and I've already won. So these are the board games that they have at the Japanese board game room. This was the game they were talking about. They had it as part of the panel for the Cthulhu. Yesterday we got Attack on Titan, Chainsomnia, Agretsuko has their own game. Cowboy Bebop, Grand Blue Fantasy, and so much more. It's pretty cool. Yep, and just another exhibition about the Japanese board games. I just love the cute little deer on the board game. More people to admire my cosplay and for some pretty cool cosplay too. Yes, what, yes. Are you cosplaying as a particular character? I was originally here as uh, Misa Amane from Death Note, um, but the wig messed with me a little bit, so I'm just kind of rocking whatever. Nice. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, it's nice. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the convention. Four or five nights at Freddy's Cosplayers. What did you think of the movie if you saw it? I really loved the movie. Oh. I pulled up to the movie yeah. in the suit. So. Oh, that is cool. I love the animatronics. I just wish that they had Roxanne and Monty. I do too, yeah. especially Roxanne. Yeah, they were, they were the best characters. Mm -hmm. That was my photo for WasabiCon. Uh, yep. All right, I'm gonna take on one of these games. It's four versus four, Pac-Man. I got eaten. No, don't eat me.
You know, this is a pretty cool Pac-Man game or side game. Wow. Can't believe it. I thought I was getting destroyed. Open if you dare. Full Metal Alchemist reference. Ed Ward. No. That is so cute. You really like Plank, do you? Absolutely. That's great. Be gentle with him. That chip and crack don't exist for no reason. Hey, hey, he's a warrior. Indeed, he is. Just stepping to the quarter to take a breather to show you around the artist's alley. So what did you think so far, Caden? Did you like the Artist Alley? Any favorite ones? Yeah, that's good to know. The best mouse pad I've ever seen. Okay, that thing I was squeezing, it is part of like erotic, like uh, comic book or web series. So I just wanted to get you your heads up. I think you have gotten all the attention because they like you too. Plank's yeah, love yeah. Love yeah. Love love Congrats, Plank. You're the most popular here. All right, bye bye, Artist Sally. I'll miss you. You guys were the best. Enjoying that drink there, Plank? I knew you'd get addicted to coffee just like me. So, um, I like to give people opportunities to, like, um, at the beginning, especially at the end of the panel, to talk and uh, to ask any questions they might have. Scene one. This scene cost me four million dollars. I'm going to go. 
Incessantly, just dumping all this Avatar Wait. lore, dump over and over, just for us. It's just Katara going on and on and on. I haven't seen these, so please watch these. Maybe it's just one opinion, and I want you to go out, find your own, and come back to me. <laughs> You have stolen the show at Wasabi Con because they are all like you. Especially her. She got another photo with Flank. How did you guys enjoy the convention? Awesome! That's great, that's great, thank you. So I did talk about this in my day one vlog, but this is the um, Hot City Tavern. They make some pretty good food here and I like the environment and how it's laid out. If you ever get the opportunity, give this one a shot when you come in and visit Portland, especially if you come to WasabiCon. We, that year we couldn't go because of our dog, Karma, 
was in her uh, twilight time. So my wife didn't want to leave her with somebody she wanted to stay with the car on. So <coughs> I went to Dragon Con, I'm with Bill, and I was checking him like, by the way, the legend of Dragon Con is actors just float in here. Like the, one of the most famous ones is uh, T Pain, the singer. His daughter's way into nerdy stuff. So we picked, spent so much money and had a Leroy cosplay from Tekken made and walked around Dragon Con. Everybody seen pictures of this amazing Leroy. And then after Dragon Con on Tuesday, he posted a picture going, Had fun at Dragon Con. Everybody's like, Oh God, I took a picture with T Pain. So you'll hear the other grapevine who's there. And there was an actor there called Scott Atsit. The rumor was going around that he was there. Now there's a TV show called 30 Rock. You're probably too young to, to watch it. It's my wife's favorite sitcom. It's about writers in New York. It's like the Mary Child Moore show. It's, it's comedy. Tina Fey created it. And Scott and Sit is one of the main characters. She's the bald guy on it that's a writer. And again, wife's favorite sitcom. So I tell uh, Bill, I'm like, oh yeah, I heard Scott and Sit's floating around. He looks at me and goes, oh, Scotty? I'm like, oh, you know Scott? And he goes, I do. He goes, hold well, on. He takes his phone and he goes, yeah, you're right. Are you serious? He goes, yeah, he's going to come over and say hi. I said, listen, I don't normally pull the favor thing, but he knew about Shannon and he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. That, that would make her day. Just if she went to call me, says hi. <clears throat> Scott actually shows up, introduces myself, Bill introduces me, and I'm like, hey, Scott, my, my wife's going with her dog. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, call your wife. I go, hey, Shannon, yeah, I got something to meet you, and I give the phone to Scott. And Scott and goes, hi, Shannon, my name's Scott Hatsit. She's like, oh my God, how are you? And he starts talking to her, and then he walks away with my phone. And I'm looking at Bill, I'm like, cool, oh, okay, so he's gonna walk around, and then he turns the corner, and he's gone. And I'm like, he's got my phone. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes go by, I can't go anywhere, this dude has my cell phone. So he finally circles back around, and it's about a bit over 20 minutes, he's like, hey, she it was really nice talking to you. Oh, I think I see Bill and your husband now. Okay, take care. He's like, hey, Shannon, I'll talk to you later tonight. I'm like, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate you having your time and talking to my wife. And he's like, hey, no problem. And I talked to her later. Scott had just lost a pet. So when he found out that was the reason we wanted my wife to talk to him, he's like, I will take all the time in the world and walk around, right? Flash forward to a year later. I'm back at Dragon Con. This time my wife is with me. Our dog has passed. And so we're just, hey, we're at Dragon Con. We're having a good time. Rumor mill gets going again. We're hearing other people are there. Rumor hits out that Scott's there again. And because it was confirmed the previous year, the Dragon Con staff go to try to find him and go, hey, would you be interested? Could you sign autographs? He goes, well, I don't really do that. I mean, it's not my jam. They're like, listen, we'll put you in this one track. We'll just sit there and you can do it by for charity or something. He's like, oh. you know what? Charity is fine. He goes, I'll go down there and do it. So my wife had her sister there, my sister works for her, her sister works for me too. And I'm like, we're gonna go see, get in line for Scott. Let us go be attendees. I'm like, okay. So she goes and waits in line, gets all the way to the front of the line. And during that time, that one year, I went to Japan for work. And I came back and I bought her a little bitty thing this big. And she had that little bitty thing with her just in case she ran into Scott. So she went through the line, got all the way through the line, Got up to Scott with her sister, and she's like, Hi, I'm Shannon. And he's like, Oh, this guy, he goes, We talked last year. And he's like, Oh my God. So they stopped the line. Everybody's getting all teary on. They're having a conversation about it. And she gives him the little thing to sign. And we learn that Scott, that's it, speaks and writes in Japanese. And so he fills this whole thing out, he writes it on her, and he gives it back to her. And so they have that moment, they talked again, it was really, really great. I left one part out of the story. Does anybody else know anything else Scott Hassett's done? Scott Hassett is the voice of Baymax in Big Hero 6. And she gave him a little sum sum, and on that sum sum, he wrote, Are you satisfied with your care? Scott Hassett. So my wife went through her mental health journey for losing our dog with the voice of Baymax. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you have a wonderful weekend with Sally Con PDX here in Portland, Oregon. We will see you guys next July. Have a good evening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes Wasabi Con of 2024, the last day, and it just ended about an hour ago. But yeah, aren't you sad, Plank?
I know you are. I know you will literally miss your first Wasabi Con after this. But yeah, I'm here chilling out at Shake Shack with my friend Plank and Caden. And yeah, check out Wasabi Con next year, July of 2025. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you saw some nice cosplay things from the vendors booth in Artist Alley and just in general enjoyed seeing what WasabiCon was like. Merchandise, merchandise, and other memorabilia. Always the best part after the convention. What do you think, Plank? Did you enjoy the convention? Chilling out there with Bonnie, the bunny? I'm glad you had a great time, Plank. Your first WasabiCon and also your most favorite WasabiCon. One thing I got from the con that I absolutely love this fursuit tail. It was actually made by the exact same person who did the panel from the day one vlog, the very first panel on fursuit making. And yeah, it's so cute too. And check this out. Yo, this is my partial, well, technically my full fursuit for the time being. I've been wanting to show you this, which is why I saved my cute little tail that I got at the end. Yeah. If you were at Anthro Northwest 6 this year, you definitely saw me. I was wearing all of this minus the tail. If you were at Philandia, I was there too, but I had a space cowboy suit instead because it was space themed. And I didn't have the tail yet either. Essentially, this is my first suit or for, and my persona too. I go by the Tiger Butler. You can see why. Dandy Tiger Head and now this cute little tail. What do you think? Don't I look adorable? I'm so glad I got this tail at Wasabi Con. It suits my persona and my fursuit so well, and it's really cute. I, it's like carrying around a little plush toy with you.